alteration of business. This is the third situation that gives rise to an abnormal basis period in taxation. The first abnormal situation was commencement. The second is change in accounting date. And the third is cessation. And this is us wrapping up basis period as a topic in taxation. And we are not going to be moving to capital allowance as I originally planned. We are going to be looking at other topics like petrol profit tax, company income tax, and pioneer legislation, capital gain tax, and all those important topics because we have a few days to the exam and I've gotten a lot of messages from people from this channel that we should skip all those introductory topics because we already have that covered. Situation of business. In the past, we used to focus on ultimate and penultimate year. Scrap all that rubbish. Ask yourself, what is my date of cessation? Plus six months. And that will give you your year of assessment. Because there's a rule that any company that ceases operation must file tax, must pay tax within six months from the date of cessation. That makes sense. So ABC Limited ceases operation on 30th of April 2003. When should they file tax? So you add six months, right? So six months from this date will be what? May, June, July, August, September, October. That will be 31st October 2023. Focus on this 2023. This 2023 will be the what? Tax year. That will be the tax year. That is year of assessment. Now, let's say XYZ ceases operation on 31st of July 2023. Another scenario, right? When should they file? Within six months. Count six months from this day. It's going to be what? August, September, October, November, December, January. And that's going to be 31st of January, 2024. Look at this year. That is the tax year. So the tax year is 2024. Tax year or year of assessment. So our focus here is not the basis period because the basis period will be a normal basis period. But our focus here is on the tax year. There are a few reasons or there are many reasons that a company can choose to cease operation. It could be government policy. Maybe government ban a particular production or a particular operation in Nigeria. That could be a reason. It could be management decision. It could be a long-term loss, like continuous decline of profits. It could be natural disasters, like fire, accident, flood earthquake and all of those unforeseen circumstances so all that being said question one george bush is the sole owner of gb currencies and has been in the business of buying and selling bitcoin for so many years due to government policy which is against the selling of bitcoin the business decided to shut down on 30th of april 2024 like i said once you get a cessation question Always keep at the back of your mind the date of cessation. It's just like commencement. So all you want to know is the date of commencement. That will determine everything you will do. In change in accounting, all you want to keep in mind is year of year of failure. The year they failed to prepare their account. So here, keep at the back of your mind the date of cessation. Because it is the date of cessation that will determine the tax year. From looking at this, now if you add six months, you know we will still be in 2024. So it's not that the tax year will be 2024. And I must state that for personal income tax, when a business ceases operation, they must pay and file personal income tax within three months. It is company income tax that is within six months. So the business has the following result for the past years. Year ended 30th September 2020, 4 million. Year ended 30th September 2021, 5 million. Year ended 30th September 2022, 4.5 million. Year ended 30th September 2023, 3 million. You can see everything is normal. The next thing we should be expecting should be year ended 30 September 2024. Abi, can you see it did not reach 30 September 2024? The business sees 30th April 2024 and their profit is 2.6 million. Can you see all the normal patterns until we got to um, period two? So that period is not up to a year. That's what it means. It is about seven months. Yeah, we'll check it. It is not up to a year. That's what it means. So, when you are putting your business period, truly the business will stop on that date. The only reason we are adding six months is to determine the tax year. Don't go and add six months and write. If you add six months to 30th of April 2024, what will you have? May, June, July, August, September, October, right? So you have 31st October 2024. That 2024 that is still failing will be the tax year. If it fell in 2025, you write 2025 started. So don't write 30th October. 
2024 as the last basis period is you're only adding that six months for the purpose of determining the tax year it makes sense it does so let's solve this question george bush the business is gb currencies gb currencies um required compute the accessible income for all taxes this is a simple question you're only looking for accessible income i pray i'm able to edit this video today and post it today the issue is with actually preparing for the class not the filming the preparation and then the editing and uploading but god is helping us accessible income then your basis period you put that there and then your tax year or your year of assessment what did they ask in the question if they say that of them tax year in question you use tax if you say year of assessment you use year of assessment here they said tax years so we just put tax years we, we skipped something we skipped um computation of accessible income for 20 whatever to 20 whatever tax years we're going to write that there when we're done so that's gb currencies so the first information year ended 30th september 2020 that tells you that it started from 1st of october 2019 because you have solved plenty questions so you already know how to move with your dates right and also the, i got the emails from people that solved the question i got about 10 emails from people that actually solved the question in the previous class i'm going to reply those emails i am definitely going to reply those emails 30th of september 2020 the profit made was 4 million so you put that there now this basis period will help us determine what our tax is remember right that we don't just try to guess even if we know it, some people know it's 2021 but it's better you make sure that your tax year you don't see it in your basis period so fix your basis period first and then pick the next year so that's 2021 now this tax year and this basis period shows a preceding year basis method of assessing tax which is what we actually do here the next one is first of october 2020 it makes sense the next day to 30th of september 2021 and that is 5 million naira and that tax year is 2022 tax year right even if i didn't wait for it at this point i know that the next tax year after 2021 is 2022 so if you are wrong you will know because it won't make sense the next one is 2023 tax year and that will be first of october 2021 to 30th of September 2022 and that is 4,500,000 the next tax year is 2024 now this is the year that is seized operation but this is a tax year here is not a year it's a tax year there are two different things like you can see this one are years there are periods between years but this one is a tax year tax year means the year of filing yeah that's what it means the year of filing so now that i'm 2024 you want to pause because you know that okay this is the operation 2024 or you can continue because the next information is three million as you can see year ended 30th september 2023 year ended 30th september 2023 at that time they were still in operation so you can still report right 30th september 2023 1st of october 2022 makes sense the next day you can see and the profit there was what three million now after this what you have next is period two let's first of all start with how many months is in that period two there's no drama here but how many months is in that period two the period two started from the next day after this day right so that will be first of october 2023 to 30th of april 2024 when they ceased operation and look at let's just know how many months is there not like we need it october november december january february march april that is seven months seven months just to put it there so it means that it did not reach one year it, because if they had closed business on their date of um what's it called on the accounting year and it will be easy now but no exam now will give you that they will close it far after or before Right, so it's just seven months, and they even put it like that seven months they made two million six hundred thousand. And you put it there, 
because we don't need any prorate in here, 2 million 600,000, right? The issue is knowing the tax year to put. That's the only issue in um, cessation. That's why I said, once you see a cessation question, ask yourself, what is my date of cessation? Add six months. When you add six months, whatever year it falls in, keep that as your tax year in the cessation basis period. So now, the golden question, <laughs> what is your tax year? 2024. Don't be shy to put 2024 and 2024. This is the tax year, 2024 tax year, because six months from the date of cessation falls within 2024. Cheap question. Love it. Lawrence has been trading for a long time until she had to cease trading on 30th April 2010 due to an adverse trading condition. She made up her account 31st October in the previous years and adjusted profit for tax purposes for three years and six months to the date of cessation were given as follows. Hope you understand as you are reading. If you don't understand, calm down, read and understand the question. Because there's no time to understand an example. So understand now. Lovett Lawrence has been trading for a long time. She decided to seize on 30th April 2010. That's the date of cessation. A tax year will still fall in 2010 because if you add six months to April 2010, it's still 2010. It's only when you have months between July and December. If you have between January and June, now you should understand that it will be in that year. But when you have between July and December, it's going to fall in the next year. So this woman said she will seize operation on 30th April 2010. She had made up her account to 31st October in the previous years. Don't let her confuse. It means that her accounting year end is 31st October. And I adjusted profit for tax purposes for the three years and six months to date of cessation. Long story. It means that all those information they gave you down. Year ended 31st October 2007, 31st October 2008, 31st October 2009 are three years. And the period ended 30th April 2010 was just for a six month period. You are required to calculate the assessment for the relevant years of assessment. Love it, Lawrence. What's the name of the business? No name of business. So we just put Love it. Uh -huh. I'm always forgetting myself. So don't forget 2021 to 2024 tax years. Please don't forget. Maybe you put a, a line here or a bracket. Something dramatic that will help you to remember or something. Don't forget. But if you can figure it out before doing this, it's okay. But you might be wrong. So just find a way to remember if you're especially for university students doing this exams. Why am I wiping this off? Why? Love it. Lawrence. Four twenty whatever to to twenty whatever years of assessment. So we have our tax years. Basis period and accessible profit. Accessible profit. So I saw a comment where someone said, I like how you're teaching because it shows that you understand what you're teaching. Yeah, I learned that from my dad, actually. When I was much younger, my dad used to tell me that if you know something, if you really know something, you will know how to teach it. <laughs> that the only, the only evidence that you don't know something is when you cannot teach. So my dad used to be a very, very, very good teacher. Not a public teacher, but like he used to teach us a lot. And I, I value understanding so much. So whenever before I come to class, I make sure I understand the concept because I think I know what it is for people not to, for someone not to understand something. When I got to the university, right? When I got to the university, I had no idea about accounting. I was in physics, biology, chemistry, for that math technical drawing girl and you know I wanted to study engineering or mathematics or whatever science course I could do. But somehow I found myself in accounting department. And I had to wing through. And it was confusing at first. It was confusing at first. So I think I understand what it is for you to need someone to walk your to walk you through something. Like, can you just give me the information I need to know? Can you just make me understand the concept? Year ended 31st October 2007. Ended 31st October 2007. It must have started. You can count 
But some people know that it has started on the 1st of November 2006, and that makes this a 2008 year of assessment, right? So you can even write it from 2008 year of assessment, so we don't forget. And we already know that this is 2010 year of assessment, because somewhere in your mind, you have seen that the business ceased operation in 2010 April, and when you add six months to that, it's still in 2010. If it fell in 2011, you put 2011 here. So the next one would definitely be 2009. Okay, let's put the accessible profit here. The accessible profit is 800,000. Um, year ended 31st October 2008. Year ended 31st October 2008 to what? 31st October 2008. Once I started on 1st of November 2007, which is the next day. Anytime you see that it's not the next day, like the no, a normal, remember when we talked about features of a normal basis period, it must be 12 months, it must flow, like no gaps, that is it. Then it must have a consistent accounting year end. Once it changes, it's abnormal. And those changes are three things we discussed commencement, change in accounting, data, and transition. That is the only circumstances permitted by the tax authority for your basis period to be abnormal. Makes sense. So here they made. 1.6 million. 2010 year of assessment. You can see that, right? Um, 1st of December 2008 to 31st of October 2009. They made, they made 1 million 700,000. And then period ended that is the next day started on that normal 1st of October, 1st of November 2009. But this time it didn't end on 31st. They ceased the operation before the year end. And that's fine. So we have 30th April 2010, right? It did not reach 30th October 2010. So how many months? We don't need it, but just, let's just get used to counting. How many months is between this and this? November because this is first of November. Okay, this is first of November. So it, November is it's not being eaten, it's still there. If you have 31st of November, it's different from first of November. Okay, so between 31st of November and 31st of December is one month. Between 31st of November and 1st of December is one day or 24 hours, you understand? So you'd like to understand the date. I'm, the only way you understand is by solving plenty questions. There's no other way. For it to be fast to listen in exam if you don't solve plenty questions. And in this life, there's no way you can master any topic if you don't solve plenty questions. So between this and this, we have November, December, January, February, March, April, six months. You can see what they said in the question that they have the profit of three years to six months. Okay. So here now they said they made a profit of one million three hundred thousand. So the only the golden thing in cessation is to get the year of assessment on the cessation year you get and that was 2010 this one is still not dramatic so it looks like cessation is easy but then there's something we call post cessation income and expenses meaning that when somebody sees operation operation on 30th of april 2010 somebody can still pay somebody that is going you can pay you too can pay some expenses you're going so that's what we call position income and expenses and then you should adjust for it that's why we have the six month period because the tax authority are aware of the fact that there could still be not trading not main operation but there could still be movement of money okay between that six months now anything that happens after that six months is not is, is not their business again now uh -huh. do you understand that's why they give that room for that six months that's when it now makes sense the six months when you hear posts cessation income and expenses and we have one question to solve on that there's no more to explain on that except the fact that you need to adjust for your income and you need to adjust for your expenses how do you adjust for your income you add income and you subtract expenses hmm? so if you have an accessible profit of one million three hundred right in that final six months okay and say the next day somebody says ah i'm owing your company fifty thousand let me pay the fifty thousand you will do what? You will pump this up by 50,000 because now the tax authority will tax it. It's, it makes sense in, in theory. I don't know if it's like that in practice. If, um, for example, you have to pay a debt, 
that you're owing maybe for fuel or something or salaries or even expenses that you used to wind up the business you will deduct from this so the adjustment is simply add or subtract that makes sense so let's solve one last question and that's going to be the final question in basis period in taxation hoping that everybody that is watching this will pass taxation or advanced taxation this year okay the final question you have on the screen is global feeds limited is a company located in ijebu ijebu yeah <laughs> global feeds limited is a company located in ijebu Ogun state nigeria it commenced operation on 1st november 2020 did i just hear commence so that is a commencement situation right it commenced 1st of november 2020 the accounting year end was in september as a result of unfavorable government policies on the incorporation policies on the importation of organic maize fertilizers, which the company deals in, the going concern of the company became threatened and the board of directors decided to cease operations on 31st December 2024. What does that mean? It means that the tax year, the golden tax year, right, is 2025. So we already know that. The adjusted profit for the year to cessation date are as follows. Period to 30 September 2021. Remember, they said they said it's in the line there that um the accounting year end is September, right? Period to 30 September 2021, 210,000. The reason we have period two is because it's a commencement situation. So it means that this business did not really last, right? Year ended 30 September 2022, 240,000. Year ended 30 September. 2023, 350,000, and period to 31st December 2024, 650,000. Normally, it should be maybe year ended to 30, year ended to 30th September 2024. But you can see that they added three more months and just closed the business. So it makes sense, right? Now, you are provided with the following additional information. A bad debt of 12,000, which was written off in 2022 year of assessment, was recovered in May 2025. May 2025. That's literally one month before June, which is the six month period, right? For filing. So that May 2025 still falls within that six months. Now it makes sense. If it was something was recovered in December 2025, it's not the tax authorities' business anymore to tax that, right? So this 12,000 must be added to the accessible profit in that tax year that it was recovered so that it can pump up the accessible profits and increase the tax that will be paid to the government, right? Number two, a sum of 2000 was spent to recover the debt above, meaning that that 12000 that was recovered, it cost 12, um, meaning that that 12000 that was recovered, it cost 2000 to recover it. Then number three, postage expenses of 35000 incurred in 2023 year of assessment was not paid until June 2025. Upon cessation, the Revenue Authority intends to conduct a back duty investigation and the taxpayer has been duly informed. As a tax consultant, you have been invited to ascertain the assessed profits for the period covered by the commencement of trade and cessation of business. So Global Fields, Global Fields Limited, Computation, of accessible profits for 20 whatever to 2020. We already know it's 2025, right? Years of assessment. We know it's 2025 because the business sees operation 31st December 2024. And by the time you add six more months to that, you know, it's going to fall in 2025, June 2025. So anything that happens, you know, we are talking of posts cessation expenses and incomes okay that's the question we are solving now you can see that additional information it makes you know that this is not an ordinary cessation question but a cessation question that has post cessation income and expenses so anything that happens after june of 2025 is irrelevant to the tax authority so the first thing we're going to write as usual our tax year or year of assessment then our basis period and accessible Profits. Accessible profits. So 
So we have period to 30th September 2021. It started with period to the other questions we did in season started with year ended, meaning that they have a normal. So this one I assume period to like you even know already is commencement because it said at the beginning commenced operation. So we we'll ask where did that period start? No, I'm checking the question. First of November 2020. Remind me of what the um, commencement rule says. Date of commencement to first accounting year end, right? So the next September we are going to get will not be in 2020. It will be in 2021. So 30th September 2021. Why is it not in 2020? Because September has passed now. Yeah, this is first. And that's exactly what they give us in the question. Period to 30th September 2021. 210,000. No need for stress. 210,000. This is commencement. So I don't even need to explain. We already understand commencement. Imagine if this was first of March that they commenced operation, and they gave me period to 30 September 2021, and they prepare account to 30 September 2020, and they prepare account to 30 September. I will have 30 September 2020. You won't jump 2021, then you will prorate. <laughs> so first of November 2020. To 30th of September 2021. So this is considered to be the first accounting year end. That's what I'm trying to explain. Date of commencement to first accounting year end. Next day will be what? First of October 2021. So what is the next? That's the second accounting year end. 30th of September 2022. Thank God that's what they give us. Year ended 2022. Mm -hmm. 240,000. So if they are giving you the one where you need to prorate, you can do it, right? That's what it means. Um, so the tax year, let's put in our tax year. Tax year, year is 2022, year is 2023. 2023, the next one will be 2024, right? So the question has year ended 30th September 2023. So 30th September 2023, which must have started 1st of October 2022, which is obviously the next day from here. Consider there are no gaps. It is a consistent accounting year end and it is 12 months period, except this one because it's the commencement situation. So the profit there is 350,000. Now, the next thing we got is period two. Period two. But you know that the next day here is what began that period. So, right, it's first of what? October 2023. 31st of December 2024. Between this and this is how many months? 15 months. Yeah, it's 15 months. How do I know it's 15 months? Because you can count it, it's 15 months. Also, if it had ended on 30th of September 2024, which is what we're normally expecting, it should have been 12 months. But well, obviously, there was three months extra between this, right? So, you can count that. Between here and here is 15 months. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's 15 months in total. So it should have been 12 months, but it ceased operation three months after the next accounting year should begin. So you already know that it's 2025. Now, there are two ways you can do this one. You can put it like this and just put 2025. There will be no issues. Or you can actually... Put the normal accounting year and since it was still in operation at that time, 30th of September 2024. Look at this. Your accounting year will still be 2025, right? Then you will now put another 2025 and say 1st of October, the next day. It was still in operation now. 2024. Now to 31st of December 2024. This is the three months. You just you just spread out that 15 months. This 15 months, you spread it into 12 months and Three months. There is no way you do it that will not be correct. The most important thing is that the basis period you put here must tally with the decision year, the decision period. It must just be correct. So me, if you ask me what would I do, I would just put it together as 15 months. You know why I put it together as 15 months? In the previous question, you, they were not up to 12 months. So when they are not up to 12 months or less than 12 months, just put them together. There is no point separating them. <laughs> So we have thirtieth of, so we have thirty first of December, thirty first December, twenty twenty four. If they had ceased operation on 
say 31st of say 31st of August 2024. You know that's still before the accounting year end. That would be 11 months, right? So since it's 15 months, why don't we just put it? You understand? I'm just trying to explain to you that that period too can be more than 12 months or can be less than 12 months. When it's less than 12 months, you can't spread it. You have no choice. So when it's also more than 12 months, just put it there. 15 months. Okay. The only important thing that your tax year should be correct. So since our tax year is correct, why bother? Why stress yourself? So now what is the accessible profit? Now, in that period, the accessible profit was 2,600,000. It is upon that accessible profit you're going to make your adjustments. It's just too simple. Then you just come here to your workings. Come here. Come to your workings and say accessible profit for period to 38. Period to 31st December 2024. Your accessible profit is accessible profit is six hundred and fifty thousand. Then, what are the information? Bad debt of twelve thousand was written off, which was written off in twenty twelve in which was written off in two thousand and two. In two thousand and twenty three, your assessment was recovered in May twenty twenty five. So just say recovered bad debt. This is just like an adjustment. You know this format: recovered bad debt of how much? 12,000. So a recovered bad debt is an inflow, you add it, right? Then a sum of 1,000 was spent to recover the debt. Cost of debt recovery. That is a negative, right? So you less it 2,000. Is it clear? Then postage expense of 35,000 that was incurred in 2023 of assessment was not paid. So now the business is paying out postage expenses. Of how much? That's five thousand. So you cast this in your calculator. That will be six fifty plus twelve minus two minus thirty five, and that will give us six hundred and twenty five thousand. Six twenty five thousand. So it is this six twenty five thousand that we we'll put here as six hundred and twenty five thousand. Because now you've adjusted it, right? You are just that would be the accessible profit that the tax authority can work with, not six hundred and fifty thousand. Why? Because you have paid that five thousand naira out, although you've received twelve thousand naira in, but you also paid two thousand to incur that. So overall, there was a reduction from six hundred and fifty thousand to six hundred and twenty-five thousand. So that is how to do it. If you were somebody that decided to spread, hmm? you spread it, you spread voila. So <laughs> it's okay actually if you spread, but if you are, I don't want to um. Explain a little bit that might have spread it into 12 months and 3 months. If you have spread it into 12 months and 3 months, this would have been 30th of, 30th of September 2024, right? Then you now have 1st of October 2024 now, the next day. So when the business actually sees 30th of, when the business actually sees, which is 31st of December 2024, you still have your 2025 year, right? Remember that this 15 months period made us 650,000. So that's 650,000 has already become 625,000. Then you now have to prorate, that is 12 months over 15 months, then three months over 15 months, times 625, times 700. So you spread, when you spread it, so you spread the values there, and if you add those two values together, you get 625,000. Don't confuse yourself with all of that. Just put it all together. When it is less than 12 months, you have the beginning of the accounting year end. So when the business sees the operation, when it is more than 12 months or so, you put it like that to when it sees the operation. Okay. So that's the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video to anyone that you know that will find it helpful. And that is the end of basis period. We are supposed to move to capital allowance. But we will not be moving to capital allowance. We will treat either company income tax or petroleum profit tax next. Uh, and skip all those other introductory topics just so that we can cover some major topics before exam date in May. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.